welcome this is shreya and you are watching peace news international starting with the headlines on the upcoming third session day of dadi janki ji former chief administrative head of the brahma kumaris the head officials of the organization remembered her and shared golden moments spent with dadi ji the indian consulate in vancouver has started a series called visions of golden bharat brother eric and sister gopi shared their insights and a spiritual uplifting event with jyotirling exhibition and cultural program held in brahma kumaris california now the news in detail Raj Yogini Dadi Janki ji was a world renowned spiritual leader who dedicated her life to the upliftment of humanity. Dadi Janki was the administrative head of Brahma Kumaris Spiritual University from the year 2007 to 2020. She was a true Raj Yogi, one who experiences union with God. Dadi Janki saw only the goodness of every human being. and awaken people to fulfill their highest potential dadi janki ji led the organization until 2020 when she ascended the subtle world at the age of 104 on her third session day bk officials shared some golden moments spent with dadi ji let's listen to it dadi's most beautiful quality was her relationship with god and this is what she wanted everybody else to experience also she wanted the soul to connect with god so that then they would also be able to experience all the love the joy and the gifts that god is able to give this had been her experience so she wanted everybody to have the same because it's everybody's right to have that experience from the divine dadi as a human being was able to help us make that connection with god through her own love for god when dadi left india to come to london she came with a little blue bag she used to call it the little air india bag that they used to give in those days meaning that she only had a couple of pairs of clothes uh, only had the pair of shoes that she walked in and that's how she came and She was about 59 years old. This is the time when people normally start to retire. And yet Dadi took on this venture, um more than a venture like a mission to open centers outside of India and to spread the message of love and peace. So Dadi had courage, Dadi had hope. and that they saw a vision which not many people saw dadi was always big hearted you saw this in the way she welcomed everyone in the way she fed everyone in the way she clothed everyone made them feel at home always gave them whatever they wanted of course in those days there was very limited means but everybody left feeling like they received what they wanted The Indian consulate in Vancouver has started a series called Visions of Golden Bharat. This spiritually focused series highlights the qualities which expresses the essence of a golden Bharat. In this episode, brother Eric Clair Rest, national coordinator of the Brahma Kumaris Canada, and BK Gopi Raj Yoga teacher UK were invited to share their insights on the topic of power and being essential. On the discussion of this topic brother Eric shared power is just an energy if my level of energy is higher than its power and if there is low energy there is less power. Power is actually just energy. And I like to consider power to be simple. It's just my level of energy. And if my energy is high, if my energy is charged, if there is a lot of energy, there is power. And if there's less energy, there's less power. And Sister Gopi shared, your life is for a greater good, and to be good is to be essential. Your life is for the greater good. Every part of your being is for the greater good. And and to be good is to be essential. 
A great spiritual uplifting event was held at Brahma Kumaris Los Angeles, which included the Jyotirling exhibition and cultural program. Over 170 souls gathered at Albert O. Little Community Center in Artesia, California, to celebrate the memorial of God Shiva's arrival to rescue us through a spiritual awakening. The program began with candle lighting ceremony by special guest Swami Adirsh Ananda and former Caritos Mayor Nareshri along with BK Gita Didi, the director of Los Angeles. During this program, the mystery of Shiva's descent was beautifully revealed by BK Gita Didi and BK Rashmi gave a brief introduction of the Brahma Kumari's organization's spiritual service to the world and warmly welcomed the guests. Also, BK members explained the specialities of each Jyotir Lingam and the differences between God Shiva and Deity Shankar to the guests. Some school students performed a magnificent Bharatnatyam dance on the songs dedicated to Deity Shankar. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.